Welcome to Gospel Diaries, a platform that offers a unique avenue for artists to share their stories, their emotions, thoughts, and personal journeys. Today we're with Dorothy. Yeah, no doubt. There ain't no doubt. In my mind, uh-huh. how to say. Give me, give me just a little run. Give me a little run of that. I started to make cheating my choice. Because the road gets rough. And the going gets tough. And the hills are hard to climb. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've started it out. A long time ago. Oh, a long time ago. And there's no doubt. And there is no doubt mm-hmm. in my mind. I decided. Yes, 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 yes. To make Look at my and that food is here. When did you start this Dorothy Norwood singing? Why did you need Caravans to start your group? Because my mother passed. My mother passed away. And uh, I didn't have no job or nothing. So I went back to Chicago again. And I stayed at Abertino's house. And I asked her, could I go on the road and sing with the caravan? And she let me go on the road. At that time, we had Louise. I can't think of what her last. Louise uh, uh, Weaver, the organist? Mm-mm. There's another one. McDonald? That's it. OK, OK, OK. And her. And we went, we out, we went out there. Mahalia's house, and we was uh, cooking, and Albertina say, as James say, can you go on and play for us? He said, yeah, I'll go on the road and play with y'all. So it was me, Louis McDonald, and James Cleveland, and Albertina Walker, and John Aaron Davis. Mm-hmm. We went out there, and we did the traveling. That's how I was able to get back on the road with the caravans, because everybody else had to left. Oh, wait. Oh, so you, oh, so this is in the 60s then? Yeah. Oh, oh the, the new Willie James McFadden, my godfather, was there at that. So this was before she picked up that group. That's right. Got you. Because at that time, that's when you went solo. Because you you were solo by seventy. That's right. In the seventies, you were solo. But before, uh, okay. So we talking about the caravan. So by seventies, you went solo. And when you went solo, you were, you found the choir, the combined choirs of the land. Now tell us about that choir. I went and got each about four or five different churches mm-hmm. and brought them all together mm. and called them the Combined Choirs of Atlanta. Mm. And that's when that's when I started doing those. I had done those uh, stories. Mm-hmm. But I came back and did some more. Because you did one, uh, the train wouldn't move with it. That's right. But that was with the angelic choir, though. That yeah. was with the angelic choir. That was with but, the angelic choir. But you choir. still was doing a lot of, I'm going to put those on the screen. You were doing a yeah, lot. Yeah, I was doing a lot mm-hmm. of them. I was doing a lot of them. I did, um, what else did I do? Uh, you you had uh, you had the, the Dorothy's testimony. That's you had uh, the three pigs. Yeah. Uh, you did the one Stories about Stories behind the songs. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Had all those. Yeah, uh-huh. 
Yeah, and um, you even I, did the one about the the sl the slave girl singing slave. slave uh huh, uh huh, singing slave. Singing slave. Mm -hmm. You were with Savoy Records, so that means you met Herman Lebisky, right? Oh, did I meet him? Yeah. So did he treat you fair? No. Let's talk about Herman Lebisky. Herman Lebisky gave me a few hundred dollars and sent me on my way. Uh, After you gave him a whole project, he gave yeah. you a couple hundred dollars and said, go on your way. That's right. Mm. Everybody know that. Mm -hmm. But he saw something good in me. He saw how, how the Lord had took me and gave me a gift to go out there and get uh, gather up all these people. Mm -hmm. Cause see, we're no combined choirs. Mm -hmm. We're just playing choirs. Mm -hmm. We bind all these people and let them go in this. We go in, the, in church and rehearse for about two weeks or maybe less than that. And then we come out and we record. We rehearse and we rehearse, rehearse. Then we come out, then we record. Mm -hmm. And they used to bring a truck, Herman, Herman Lebensky. Now, was Lawrence Roberts, was he the one that was on the truck? Because I see his name as recorder a lot. Is that true or no? Yes, true. Okay, okay. He was on the truck. Okay. They would get, Herman Lebensky mm -hmm. would get uh, uh, a truck mm -hmm. and pull it up to the, to the church. Mm -hmm and put all them uh, musicians, but the musicians was in the church. Mm -hmm. But he, they'd take that and they, they had them two inch tapes, mm -hmm. them big old mm -hmm. round. Wheel to wheel, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I just, I'm you know, <laughs> you know, put them in there. And we start singing, mm -hmm. and wasn't no things such as uh, you got to uh, overdo. Oh, right, okay. Wasn't no overdo. Okay. Sixty-five. I think you, what was it called? The bell don't toll. The bell didn't didn't toll. toll. And that 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 same year, there's I, my mind slips me right now. But there was another. So it was like two albums right in sixty-five. Hey, was it because he was just giving you a hundred dollars and you want to make more money? Like, how, how did that go? Well. He was giving me money, but he wasn't giving me enough. Okay. Lawrence Roberts stepped in and started giving me more money. Mm -hmm. I had him to give me more money. Then Milton Bigham. Mm -hmm. No, no, Fred, no, Fred. Fred Mendelson. Mendelson. Fred Mendelson. Right, because he took it over when Herman died. There right. you go. Because uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, when Herman died, didn't Clyde Davis... Clyde Davis, Ariston Records had uh, Arista. Over, Arista, right. Hey, Gospel Diaries, listen here. I want you all to show your support monetarily to this living legend right here, Dorothy Norwood. Our cash half panel is on the screen, and we'll be right back with some more content. Mm -hmm. And that's how we were able to get more money. Mm -hmm. Was when Ariston. When Ariston okay. stepped in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because I got a $20,000 check from Arista, and I was living in New York uh, on 145th Street. Mm -hmm. And I took that check and put it in the envelope and slid it up under the dresser. It was a big, long dresser. Mm -hmm. Slid it up under the dresser. Then I went back over to Savoy, over to that uh, 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 bank, mm -hmm. that bank that they had mm -hmm. over there, mm -hmm. and they cashed the check for mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. But I had to take Fred Mendelssohn. Because they wouldn't believe a black woman would come in there with a check like that. Check, I had to take Fred Mendelssohn and somebody else, whoever else it was. I had to take them mm. in there, and I had to carry all my birth certificates. 
I'm serious. My birth certificate, or uh, my everything, so they would cash that check. And they cashed that check for me. And, while, and when they cashed it, guess what I did? What you do? I took all that money and went straight to the post office and got some money on it. Oh. Lance Robertson one told me that, so you take that to the post office. I said, because when you get ready to cash them again, the post office will cash them first. For free. Well, no, is it really? Yeah, okay. For Uh, free. Okay, okay. You said it. Okay. And the caravans came back in the mid 2000s. Lord, thank you so much for that. Paved the way. Paved the way. Paved the way. We paved the way. Mm -hmm. We paved the way for the people that was getting that little bit of money. We paved the way for the people that uh, they would they wouldn't cash no twenty thousand dollar check. Mm-hmm. We paved the way to get that to get that uh, to even get that kind of money. Mm-hmm. They had the quartets. They had the other choirs. They had all of them, but it was only me. I remember that in the caravan. Right up there in Harlem. Could get those checks cashed. We were the only one could get them cashed. Hmm. And we had to have everything that we, they knew about mm-hmm. for their cash. Hmm. Just because of the color of your skin. Yes, because of this. Do you remember going in the back doors to program, or do you remember being refused meals in the South on the road? Do you remember any of that? Oh yeah. We went to the back door to get a sandwich. A sandwich. A sandwich. Why did you have to go back door? Because you couldn't go in the front door. Mm. <laughs> you couldn't go in the front door. You on the road singing for Jesus. And they had black people what? back there cooking it. Even for the white folks, too. That's right. I hope you got that right. Uh, I'm listening. <laughs> That's right. Now, you're on the road singing gospel music, and you're living in these conditions. Like how? Like wh- what made you keep going? Like, or was that just it was the conduct of the time, and you just dealt with it, or did you have any uh, enthusiasm to like try to push away from that particular conduct? No. No, we had to do what we had, had to, to do. Okay. I'm serious. Mm-hmm. And. Um, I remember we were, and I can't think of the name of that place in South Carolina. Me and Lois went in the front door of a restaurant. Hi, Eric Maurice Squire. If you are enjoying this content, would you consider supporting us? The information is on the screen. We want to bring you more content, but we need your support. And remember to love on someone, and you will change a lot. To a cafe with no restaurant to get us something to eat. That white man said, shh, get out of it, just like we were chickens or dogs or something. Oh, wow. Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Mm -hmm. We couldn't, we couldn't, we couldn't get no food. We couldn't get no food, do you hear me? We had to go down the road and get us some sardines and crackers. Mm. But when the, uh, as it got better with the singers 
you know, and the mighty clouds and the caravans came through and it got better. That was the only way that we could uh, uh, have a decent meal. That's the only way we could have a decent meal. Mm-hmm. That's why we named it Paved the Way. Mm-hmm. We had to pave the way for all of those singers that didn't have uh had to open up cans of cans of uh poking beans and cans of so that's what that's what paved the way is. Sardines, crackers. But that was paving the way. Then here come the better singers. Here come the uh, Maddie Moss Clark. The Maddie Moss Clark. All right now. Maddie Moss Clark. Uh, Ward singers, all of those groups, uh, they start things start kind of, kind of, kind of loosening up for them. Mm-hmm. Before that, we the one had to. Thank you, thank you. Thank cut you. through. Mm-hmm. The back rows. And when you say cut through the back row, can you elaborate on that? What do that exactly mean? That means that you couldn't go down in the no interstates, no way. Mm-hmm. You couldn't go down the interstates. You had to go down them dirt roads. That was paving the way. And that was paving the way. That was paving the way. Mm-hmm. You had to go down them dirt roads. You had to go, we had passed, we, we, we turn our lights out to get down the road because we saw about seven or eight here, seven or eight or ten here with them white caps on, Ku Klux Klan. On the gospel, on the way to sing for the Lord. That's right. That's right. Ward singers, angelic gospel singers, Margaret Ellison, Albert Tina and them, they can tell you better than we could. That's what we did. We paved the way. Let me ask you this question as far as flying. Like, was that like a was that like a fantasy of you all's to fly? Because or were you all flying from get go? Oh no, let me ask that question first. No, we don't, no, no, no. Right. There was an airline called I can't think of the name of that airline. Not Howard Hughes. Not not Hughes. Um, the TW. And we had to fly on the planes that you could look out there and see the. Uh, uh, fire coming out the engine. That was paving the way. Because I'm going to tell you something, I was so scared, I didn't know what to do. I didn't want to get on them planes. But we had to do it. We had to do it. And then the black people were no first and second, first class and second. Black people had to sit in the back, back there by the toilet. That's paving the way. That's paving the way. And you still got a song in your heart. 
You got a son. And you know, it's amazing. Like, you, 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 you're paving the way, but then you get to these cities, my God. And these, these, your audience, they need what you have. And you, they don't even know that. Well, they could at that particular time, but you still was a vessel to go through it to bring them a message. That's a right. Hope. That's right. And then still have to get back in the car and push through that again to get home. If that ain't paving the way, you tell me what it is. I know. The white people that are, that have uh, uh, pushed us to the back pushed us to the side. Those toilets we used to go in, some of them have color and some of them have white. They put those together where we could go in. Now we can go in. We can go in, and when you go to the airport, you can go in there in those toilets. I mean, they ain't toilets or not, they're bathrooms. I just turned that. All right, Sister Sarah. Sister Sarah. Sister Sarah. Leave her alone. Oh, okay. All right, that's Leave her alone. <laughs> He's trying to tell you. Oh, He's trying to cut you off. I'm really enjoying Okay. He's trying to cut you off, and I'm enjoying the conversation. Okay, I'll leave <laughs> He, 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 he. Oh Lord, don't don't listen to her, Miss Mama Sarah. Oh. She said that I was trying to cut cut you off. <laughs> oh. When the summer her song. So, uh, when Jesus come, he'll take me. Yeah. I must I must tell Jesus. Yes. Oh, look at that blue. Yes, he will. Oh, I'm doing just fine. How are you doing, sweetheart? I'm doing wonderful, thank God. Yes, indeed. You still in North Carolina? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. I'm still here. I'm uh, doing, what, doing the best I can. What I got. <laughs> well, that's all right. You know, I, I was telling him, once, I love that song that uh, you can't do nothing. Till he come, you all did that album together yeah. way back in the seventies. Yeah, 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 sure did. That is a long album. Yeah, we did though. Yeah, we did a lot of them together, and they here in my house. They came to my house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah well, same thing. I don't know nothing else. Mama Dorothy Norwood, can I shake your hand one more time? <laughs> Thank you for this opportunity. I'm overjoyed. This is a precious memory. I will always relive this. Always. And I just want to tell you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And to Gospel Diaries, as I always say, love on someone and you will change your life. <laughs>